callback functions are very important topic and also most used in asynchronous javascript so let's learn all about callback functions hello friends welcome back to this channel if you are new here my name is meet i am a software engineer and on this channel i explain web development in simple and easy way so what is callback function a callback function is a function that is passed as an argument to another function and it is executed after a specific task is completed let me explain you using real world scenario suppose you are ordering sandwich from sandwich shop with your phone so you call the sandwich shop and give your order this is like starting an asynchronous task now if you don't know about synchronous and asynchronous term then you can watch the previous videos of this series where i explain synchronous and asynchronous both in easiest way without knowing asynchronous we can't understand callback function so watch these videos and after that you can continue this video now the sandwich shop tell you it will take 20 minutes to prepare and deliver this is the delay in the asynchronous task so you hang up the call and do other things while waiting for the sandwich this is the non blocking behavior now when sandwich arrives the delivery person rings your doorbell and this is the callback function being executed when the task is complete so a callback function is passed as an argument to another function and it is executed after a specific task is completed if you are working or learning javascript from long time then i bet you you already use callback function in your code just you don't know that function is called as callback function for example do you remember in the set timeout function at the first position we pass function which is executed after some delay and you are correct this function which we pass as an argument is called as callback function same callback function we pass in the set interval function now let me give you another example in almost all array methods we pass callback functions like in the for each method map method filter method etc in all these methods we pass callback function now let's create one function and pass it as callback function because in the real world we need to pass callback functions a lot so let's see this with simple example so first of all here we create function called manage student and in this function we are going to fetching student data from database so to simulate delay for data fetching we add here again set timeout function and at the first position what do we pass right not just function we pass callback function and at the second argument we pass milliseconds let's say 300 milliseconds now when we complete the data fetching after 3 seconds we want to run another function which will update that student's data so for that we create another function called update student and inside this function we simply console.log updating the student data now we want to call this update state function after the 3 seconds delay so what we do here right we can pass this update student function as the callback function into the manage student function so first of all we call manage student function and as a parameter we pass this update student function now same as other function arguments we get this update student function as the first parameter in this function so we can call it anything like update function or anything but most of the developers like to call this function as callback because we are going to run this function after a specific task and simply inside the set timeout we call this callback function simple as that let's check the output see after 3 seconds we get our console message now here we can also define this callback function in arrow function syntax so at the place of function keyword we write const update student equals to and we separate parentheses from curly brackets using this arrow you know this right now here we create this function separately and because of that we have to give here name but we can simplify this code 
by directly passing this function here. So at the place of this function name, we can cut and paste this piece of code here. And we simply remove this code. We don't need it. See, now our code looks simple and this way is very useful in JavaScript because as you notice, we always pass callback functions like this. Instead of declaring it separately, we define directly here. So that's the callback function. Callback function is just a name of the function which we pass as an argument into another function and it is executed after completing task, specifically asynchronous task. Simple as that. Without using callback functions, many asynchronous tasks and events cannot be handled and that's why understanding how to work with callbacks is very important for managing tasks that do not complete immediately in the non-blocking or asynchronous manner. So that's the callback function. Also, currently I am working on the ultimate Node.js course in which you will learn Node.js from scratch to advanced level in very easy to explain language and with real world projects. So in the description box, I added one Google form link. Enter your email and first thousand students will get this course completely free for lifetime. So quickly register, link is down in the description and I will see you in the next video.